This is the Learn Chemistry Wiki, um, which was developed by the RSC in collaboration with ChemSpider and Martin Walker um, from Potsdam University. And it's a teaching resource um, to teach 16 to 19 year old students about chemistry, uh, and it's also aimed at their teachers. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick tour of what's in the wiki, starting off with lab experiments, moving on to substances, then quizzes and tutorials and guides. So we'll start off with some lab experiments and this is the overview page um, which shows various lists of the experiments that are in the wiki and we'll click on the main list and you can see that there are a lot of different um, experiments in the wiki already um, and for most of them there is a lab overview, teacher notes and student notes. Um, so we're going to look at uh, an example of how to extract limonene from oranges in more detail and we'll click on the lab overview. As you can see this just has a summary of what's in the um, experiment and there's a link to the student experiment and the teacher experiment and student experiments a condensed version and uh, the teacher experiment has a bit more details with teaching notes in it. So this is just a wiki page which describes how to do the experiment um, in quite a lot of detail. So there's information about what apparatus is required, this is a diagram, and there's detailed um, instructions. And as we scroll down we can see that one of the advanced features of the wiki, um, this spectrum here, um, isn't just a static picture, it's interactive and it's possible to drag your mouse across certain portions of it um, to zoom in um, to for example see if the, the a peak is split um, and this enables students to see in enough detail that they can answer detailed questions about the spectrum um, and in this case we can just type in a number uh, which is the answer to the question and it will tell us whether we got it right or not. Um, in the teaching notes at the end you can see that there's a link um, to limonene and there are links to various um, compounds all over these experiments and each of them contains more information about that compound. So if we click on this um, you'll be able to see a bit more um, of the compound information that's in the wiki. So basically this is a distillation of what's in the corresponding ChemSpider page um, for this compound. And if we click on the ChemSpider link um, you can see the original information. So um, we've got uh, an image, we've got names, we've got properties, we've got spectra and Wikipedia information. Um, but we also have a lot of extra information so it might be confusing for a student to go to ChemSpider and find the information that they need. So the idea is that these substance pages in the wiki just show a condensed version. Um, so we've got properties, we've got links to spectra both in ChemSpider and in other sources and um, in this case this is links to the NMR shift DB database um, using the links that are in ChemSpider. Also using the links that are in ChemSpider we have a chunk of text from Wikipedia um, so a description of the compound um, and you can click on the link to see more information about it uh, in there. And there's an other names section um, which contains all the validated names from ChemSpider for this compound. And this allows you to um, type in um, any synonym of the compound into a, a search of the wiki and find your way to the substance pages that way. So it's possible um, to find your way to a substance page by following links, um, by doing a text search on the various names and another way is to do a structure search. 
and this is another advanced feature of the wiki um, in that if you don't know the name of the compound you can draw it in uh, using this catcher drawing frame and then click on the search button and it will take you to the corresponding substance page um, there are um, 2000 substances in the wiki and that compares to over 25 million compounds in ChemSpider and we've picked those 2000 compounds as ones that are most relevant for students aged 16 to 19 um, and left out the ones that maybe aren't so relevant for them so um, I've shown you um, some lab experiments I've shown you um, substance pages and um, we'll now move on to quizzes um, so here on the overview page we've got a list that links to all of the different quizzes um, based on the level of the student so we'll click on level R and question 1 and we can see the same structure drawer frame that we had in the um, structure search but this time when we draw in um, a compound it's the answer to that first question at the top and you're drawing in the product of the reaction shown um, so you just draw in the structure that you think is the answer and click on the submit button and it'll tell you whether you got it right or wrong um, to answer the second question you just draw in the new structure and click on the submit answer again um, and in this case we got it wrong and we can view what the correct um, structure should have been so um, there are questions where you can draw in the answers and questions um, there are also quiz questions that involve spectra so again these are interactive and we can expand portions of the graph and we can type in um, the answers to questions and pick from multiple choice answers so ideally you would go through all of these and answer them and then click on the submit button at the bottom and it will tell you which you got right highlighted in green which you got wrong in red and which you didn't answer in blue so that's quizzes and um, there are also a few tu tutorials in the wiki there's only three currently and um, we'll show you an example of um, one about NMR spectroscopy so this is basically a normal wiki page um, about a particular area of chemistry in this case um, spectroscopy um, but uh, the idea is that um, teachers can enter their own experiments um, their own tutorials and um, it's possible to um, just add it in the same way that you can add, add articles to Wikipedia um, because it depends on the same technology um, so um, it, you can use the same functionality um, as in Wikipedia but the enhanced functionality of the wiki for example to add, add spectra um, into your tutorials or quizzes um, or structure drawing frames um, so that's the learn chemistry wiki and I've given you an overview of the different types of pages in it um, experiments, substances, quizzes and tutorials and if you like what you saw we would encourage you to go to the URL at the top of the page um, and um, to have a look at them and maybe even to contribute thank you very much for your time